In the basement of La Penta, it's WICR. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Sports Vault. I am your host with the most, Jersey Joe Archino, and I've kind of turned WICR into the NBA Draft Command Center in the other room. Been listening all day, hearing all the news, have computers going. This is the war room, um, and I kind of did my segments early in the morning, kind of giving you know the general thoughts on the day and how things would pan out. And I, I did say it seen. I believe that the Lakers were definitely in, in that Jaleel Okafor ballpark. There was still those rumors about DeMarcus Cousins, but the news has changed, and I think for the Lakers, like I said in my segment this morning, I think it's, if, as a, if you're a Lakers fan, it's the news you definitely wanted to hear, and it seems like now they are strongly leaning, I would I don't know if I would say strongly, but it says, the reports are saying they're leaning towards selecting D'Angelo Russell and not Jaleel Okafor. Part of the reasoning that I've heard uh, in the radio shows I've been listening to is, in Okafor's first draft workout, he did very well. The second one did not as impress as much. And then when you, they looked at D'Angelo Russell, his first one was phenomenal. Second one, even better. And look, I think it's it's like we all see. We all see what's happening in the NBA. Back to the basket centers who are a liability on defense and don't make free throws, don't translate to wins. Stephen Curry's, Clay Thompson spreading the floor, hitting threes, passing, creating space. That's what wins in today's NBA, not Jaleel Okafor. And I think if I'm the, if you're the Lakers, I, I give them credit because I, I know it's got to be difficult for a franchise like that where so much of their history and so much of their success in that history has been tied to big men. And I, I think that separation now is what you have to do, though, because the game has changed. It's all coming down to changing things up. And D'Angelo Russell is the future today. It's a league now about spreading the floor, and he is certainly a guy who can do that. And it will, certainly, we're going to continue to see how things change and how the day continues to unfold. But I think if you're a Lakers fan right now, that's news that you want to hear. Jaleel Okafor, look, I, I've said it in the earlier segments. I think he'll put up good numbers. I think he he might have a productive NBA career. But if you're asking me if he's going to translate to more wins and more of a possibility of me winning a championship than D'Angelo Russell, I just don't. I felt that D'Angelo is the best player in this draft all along. He is exactly what the NBA is today. And if I'm the Lakers, I think it, it's a promising. So if you're there, if you're a Lakers fan, I think you're in business.